This is the second deadly fire in West Dallas in less than a month. Two teenage boys died in a house fire at 57th and Mitchell in March. Keller Russell is live with a toll this is taking on the neighborhood. Keller. And Carol and Steve, even the fire chief admitted that this was difficult. He was emotional uh, talking about the fire at this home, admitting that it was difficult for his crew to handle yet another case where children are the victims. And tonight, neighbors hope this is the last time they hear about a tragedy like this. It really hurts when you see this happen. Karen Rosh is overcome with grief, knowing three helpless children died in this West Dallas fire two doors down from her. She just doesn't understand why the mother wouldn't be home. Well, this is where it just doesn't seem to make sense because we, the little we saw of her, she just didn't seem that so that would ever leave a child alone. It's the second time in less than a month in West Dallas where children have died in a fire while left unattended. March 17th, two 14-year-old boys were killed, two younger boys escaped. Neighbors tell us this is two times too many in this community. How can these things keep going on? Parents tell us their own children have even now raised questions about safety. And it makes, you know, even my kids start to question, you know, do our smoke detectors work? Do we, should we change the batteries, Dad? You know, is the time, you know? And Karen Rosh hopes it's the last time she has to hear about such young lives lost while left home alone. As far as the safety goes, some people you can't change. They, you know, they're going to do what they do, but I hope people do take a second look at what they're doing and, you know, not take their children for granted. Now, there were working smoke detectors in the home. Neighbors say it's a reminder that even the youngest of children need to be taught fire drills, but they tell me that, of course, is no substitute for adult supervision. Live in West Dallas, Keller Russell, today's TMJ4.